What's going on guys? It's me Jiggly and I'm back with another mod block spotlight for you and tutorial. This one is on the Glacial Preceptor, if I'm saying that right, uh, Precipitator. <laughs> glacial Precipitator from Thermal Expansion. Let's learn something new. Alright guys, so yeah, the uh, Glacial Precipitator. <laughs> It's a uh, it's a pretty sweet little block. Um, yeah, I'm gonna show you that setup here in a minute. Sorry for the sound though. That's that uh, Aquas accumulator. First thing we gotta know though is how to how to craft it. So if you're using any I or JEI or anything like that, it's gonna be pretty easy because uh, you can just click on it and get the recipe. But here it is, guys. It takes one piston, two Envar ingots, a machine frame, two copper gears, and one redstone reception coil. So pretty easy pretty good uh, it'll it's yeah quite easy to craft and make and uh, yeah what does it do jiggly what does it do so when you open it up it's got the same GUI interface as all our other um, thermal expansion mod blocks starting off with energy it does use 20 RF per tick and it does store 60,000 RF in its internal buffer right here our information screen uses redstone flux to freeze various fluids the selected item is what you'll get if there's enough fluid in the tank. Have a snowball fight. <laughs> so yeah, you can make quite a bit of snowballs, guys, and throw them out of uh, uh, enemy mobs and things like that. And that's just your little tutorial thing. So with all, well, not all, but most all, thermal expansion, um, it starts with the allows for automatic transfer out, redstone control, and of course, our uh, integration where we can change the siting of what we want in our configuration. So of course I run the redstone disabled in our config file right here. You got blue on top and bottom for input and of course combined output. So if you if you were to use this, you can tell it what you want. So let's go ahead and go, all right, I want four snowballs. It's gonna make eight though, because as you can see, one bucket is a thousand. It takes 500 MB of water to make four snowball or a thousand one bucket makes eight snowball. So same thing with the snow. Let's go ahead and do that. Boom, it's going to make one snow block for 500, and of course we used a second one, we get two snow blocks. But now for ice, it's a little different. As you can see, we had a thousand in there. Boom. It takes a thousand to make one ice block. But then you can literally doop, put ice down and go, wee, slipping and sliding. So that's, that's what the uh, a, a glacial precipitator does. Now if you were to feel... Uh, pure water setup like this notice how I'm 32,000 full and I've already made 16 snowballs but as soon as I turn that to orange it's gonna kick everything up into that clear chest so let's go ahead and do that output boom there it goes there they go <laughs> it's gonna make four more go up and then they're just gonna travel and now let's say we want to change it over to snow so now let's send snow blocks up there notice how it's just pumping through so our, our water's trying to keep up. There it goes. It's keeping up now with the snow block anyway. Uh, and then let's go to ice. Now let's tell it we want ice sent up there. And just like that, you can easily, uh, if you have piped in water, you can just make a continuous supply. But if you're playing on Quigley Craft, you could sit there and sell the stuff, believe it or not. And it's free to make. Isn't that crazy? It just takes RF though, so it's not completely free. You just need energy somehow. So... But yeah, that's that's kind of something you can do for it, and those are three things you can make out of it. So we'll go ahead and turn that off so it stops automating it, though. Um, yeah, let's just kick it over to the snow. It's going to make one more ice, and it'll stop crafting. Boom, there we go. Now everything's cold, everything's hunky-dory. <laughs> but yeah, that's the Glacial Preceptor, uh, Precipitator. I don't know why I call it Preceptor. Precipitator uh, from Thermal Expansion. You can literally make some freezing things, guys. Uh, it's pretty pretty sweet. Um, what else can I tell you about it? I guess for basic understanding, I mean that's what you got. If anything else calls for it in the NEI JEI, that's what it is. All you gotta do is be able to make it and provide it RF, which we're doing with a creative block. But uh, yeah, I hope you guys have learned something new. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it's been educational. Share it with your friends and family, and uh, yeah, your fellow Minecraft friends if they're not sure how to use this guy or what it's for or what it does. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for more videos. Check out more videos on the channel. And, yeah, have a good day. Bye.